Howdy folks, here I am again at Kenzone. I came to check on the uh, Sentra and I figured, you know what, I drive the uh, Mercedes over because if there's one car in my garage that always, without a doubt, makes me smile when, I'm, when I drive it, it's my W126. She is just so gorgeous. I absolutely love this car. I mean, uh, I've said it before, but I'll say it again. The proportions of this car are just perfect. I mean, look at the boot, look at the bonnet. Look at the doors, just brilliant. So anyway, without any cuts, let's go have a look at what's going on with the Sentra. So as you know, in the previous video, they've taken off the uh, cylinder head and uh, are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Look at that. Cleaned up the pistons. See if you can actually see the number two on it. So, so brilliant, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. They've covered up that as well. And uh, check this out, check this out, check this out. Look at that. That's like new. Those are the valves, all 16 of them. They've been cleaned up as well. That is just amazing. Remember how cruddy it was up top? Uh, look at it now. That magic red chemical, I have no idea what it is, but it just cleaned up everything so brilliantly. Look at the piston, uh, look at the valves. The valves are all clean now. All 16 of them. There's the timing chain. Thankfully, the timing chain is still in good condition. It doesn't need to be changed, but it's all been cleaned up. And here's the new oil pump. So yeah, this just this was 500 ringgit. Goes over there. And uh, this is the housing for it on the outside. So yes, very very happy with what's going on now. Gotta see this underside again because it's just. Absolutely gorgeous. So, and there she is. A lot of those rubber hoses are going to be changed since we're already at the bottom of the engine. But I really, really love the look of the pistons. Look at that. So nice. So yes, just a very, very quick update. The saga of the Sentra is far from over. Lovely. Thank you for watching. Bye. just got through checking on the Sentra and you know it I think it's kind of weird but uh, I'm actually happy this happened because I would rather this happen now than for it to happen while I'm on a drive somewhere and suddenly the engine just explodes uh, yeah you know it, it, it could happen it, it could overheat and completely uh, destroy itself and then I'd have to get a new engine and yeah I'm not really fond of engine swaps I'm not I'm, I'm not the engine swap type of person and it's a lot harder than uh, you actually uh, imagine you know there's legalities involved as well so not just the cost of buying the engine but you also have to think about the, the wiring the uh, the stuff that needs to be changed and there's no guarantee that a new second-hand engine is going to be any better than the one that just exploded so yeah i'm not very keen on engine swaps as far as possible unless the pistons fly out of the bonnet i'm gonna try and repair and salvage the original powertrain which is what i which is what i've always done now don't forget the car i'm driving right now the the Merc 126 had a bad engine failure as well it overheated it actually overheated and turned the uh, engine oil into tetare yes 
it, it was a milky kind of uh, substance that was uh, inside the engine instead of actual engine oil I'm sure you remember what that how that happened you can check my playlist for the uh, uh, all the videos on the Merc 126 which I'm driving now and it's <laughs> it's so lovely if there's one car like I said if there's one car in my garage that always makes me smile when I drive it it's this one uh, it's just a wonderful wonderful car I, I don't know how else to put it but uh, anyway yeah like I was saying I'm actually quite happy this happened now to the Sentras because now I know for sure that from this day onwards or from when the day the car is ready from uh, at Kenzone it's going to be good for another 10 years at least and I'm dying to take it on another Gunting run because three times lucky, yeah, twice I tried it, twice it failed. I, I'm very sure now that the third time I do this, it's going to be a lot better, a heck of a lot better. So yeah, um, I can't wait for that but you know, I told them to take their time, don't rush. You, you can see from the, the, the footage that they have done an amazing job cleaning up the engine. That cylinder block Sorry, that, that engine block, it looks like it's new. Like it just came out of the Nissan factory 30 years ago. So, mm, very, very excited to see what's going to happen. So, yeah, it's uh, we're still in CMCO. Uh, yes, I still have my mask. And uh, I'm only traveling in and around uh, uh, PJ. Eugene of, uh, of Autobus just um, buzzed me <laughs> and uh, asked me how it's going. And uh, because his, the video with him in it uh, of the 330E in Munich, Germany, uh, is up you you can check that on my on my videos as well and uh, the second video there's, there's another part coming but the second video is mostly him talking about the car which is great very very appreciative of that for him to to actually narrate his experience of the car so yeah I told him the same thing I'm just uh, driving around uh, the PJ area I'm not crossing even into KL I don't I don't I have not even been to Taman Mega which is just nearby just just around this area and uh, so far it's been okay, not so bad. Hopefully the numbers come down. But yes, very, very happy that the uh, Sentra is being done. And I couldn't, I can't think of a better place to actually do it because the guy there, Ken, as well as his uh, top guy, Meng, is, they're very familiar with old cars. So I'm glad it's being done there. Anyway, stay tuned for that. Very, very excited to see how the Sentra is gonna turn out. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a lot quicker. It was already blindingly quick. Uh, and just that the oil wasn't circulating around um, in you know in optimum form but hopefully with the new oil pump and the stop overhaul being done it's gonna be great I'm very very excited uh, the good news is the the Merc is running really well and uh, so we'll see we'll see how it goes stay tuned because um, I don't care whatever happens I'm gonna I'm gonna record the next Genting run and uh, you'll see you'll see the uh, Sentra taxi dreams come true the Gunting taxi dreams come true okay you all take care be safe be cool um, don't go out unless you have to and uh, I'll talk to you all soon thanks for watching bye